welcome to Geraldine Bernales YouTube channel. I'm your little girl vlogger inspiring in Bohol. We have travels, tutorials, and more more vlogs. Always remember to subscribe. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. So for today's video, magluluto po yung kapatid ko ng squid adobo recipe. First, you should wash and remove all unneeded parts of the squid like the internal part except the bile. Then, cut it into cubes if the squid are big. You should cut it to easy stew and chow the squid adobo. Some tips to avoid slimy texture, you should get one spoon of salt and mix it to the squid. As you can see, it's easy to cut the squid. The upper part of squid were sliced for adobo recipes. While the lower part of squid were cut for calamaris recipes. You should be careful in pulling the head part of the squid to avoid cutting the bile. This is the abdo or bile look like. So ayan guys, nandito na naman po tayo sa ating cooking vlog kung saan magluluto po yung sisko ng squid adobo recipe. So as you can see guys, tinatanggal po ng kapatid ko yung mga hindi na magagamit na part ng ating squid. Then, you should pull out the transparent bone to avoid choking it. So, ayan guys. So, as you can see, continue pa po ng pag-slice yung kapatid ko sa ating squid. Ayan. So, so na-absorb nyo po pa cubes po yung pag-slice niya. Ayan. So, para mabilis po siya maluto guys. Ayan guys. So, ito na po siya. Now, my sis done cutting all the squid. And later, I will show you how she will cook it. This is for calamari's recipe, our part 2 for my cooking session with my sis. My sister done cutting and preparing the main ingredients, which is the squid. She cut it first to be strained and dry it. My sister will cook first the adobo and next the squid calamaris. Then next, she prepares all the ingredients and seasonings. Here's the ingredients, paminta, onion, and garlic. My sister peeled the onion and she sliced it. Then she peeled the garlic and squeezed it. My sister adds some oil. Then, she add garlic and onion. So, pinakuloan niya muna po ng mabuti. Next, she mix it until it turn into golden brown. Then, she add the main ingredients, the squid. So, ayan guys, napapansin nyo po, dahan-dahan pong nilalagay ng kapatid ko yung mga squid na lulutuin para sa ating adobo. Ayan. So, next, my sis mix it thoroughly. So, papakuloan nyo po yan ng mabuti guys at dahan-dahan niya po itong minimix. So, ito naman pong ginagawa niya guys. Pinapalabas niya po yung loob ng ating bile or updo. Ayan, para mag-block po siya. So, ito guys, napapansin niyo po guys, nagbablock na po siya. So, dito, she prepare 1 fourth cup of soy sauce. Then, she add the soy sauce. And, she add 1 tablespoon of salt. By the way guys, yung niluto po ng kapatid ko ngayon ay para po ito sa lunch namin. Ibig sabihin guys, yung vlog po natin ngayon ay part 1 pa lang po sa pagluluto ng kapatid ko ng ulam namin sa tanghalian. So abangan nyo po yung part 2 natin. My sister add 1 tablespoon of magic syrup. Then, 
to balance the taste of sweetness and salty, my sister add one fourth cup of coke if you don't have sugar. Then he mix it well. Ayan. So after a while, add hot water if you want a double with salt. Well, adding water is good to boil the squid long, but not too long. Put some paminta to make it a little bit spicy and let it boils for 5 minutes long my sis prepares ingredients for the squid calamares so my eldest brother take over in cooking it since our squid is cooked my brother took the pan and he prepared a bowl for the squid adobo. Then, our squid adobo is ready to serve. Squid adobo recipe ingredients. We have squid, pamenta, onion, garlic, oil, hot water, 1 quart cup soy sauce, 1 quart cup coke, 1 tablespoon salt, 1 tablespoon magic syrup. Ta-da! Ayan, luto na po yung ating squid adobo recipe. So, yun guys. Part 2, abangan. So, hanggang dito na lang po guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.